just like sitting in the front seat. Leaning against my paintings. Okay, sunshine, illuminate. This is production, babe. Using the environment to your advantage. Okay, I want to talk about something fun because I got a little heavy in the last, you know, it's got, especially Father's Day. Oh, yeah. Anyway, family, right? So, I want to talk about some things that, in, during my research, things I came across online, the videos. There's this one gentleman, I don't remember his name. You All you got to look at is Lemurian um, shaman or mystic, and he has like a, where's like a, a crystal headband really cool guy right his story is amazing I don't know who the guy is but his story is incredible as a child him and his sister were brought up here from from um, the middle earth the middle of the earth the inside of the hollow of the earth okay it's crazy but you gotta look this guy up it's, it's all about Lemuria and you'll you'll come across him he's an older gentleman but he's a the word is a hermaphrodite, male and female. Amazing. But the story is amazing. Him and his sister were dropped off. And basically, it, they ended up being adopted into the military. He ended up running Area 51 for a while. There were secret tunnels that led to Lemuria underneath Mount Shasta. I mean, the stories he was telling. I mean, this was, he was just, this is the thing I love as a researcher. The stories. The stories that people tell. And whether they are true or not, if you can believe them or not, because it's usually a first-hand experience, people telling you what they feel, what they fit, see, what they do. And it's just amazing, the storytelling, regardless. I'm telling you, I, the, the gentleman I talked about earlier that was the you know, rocket scientist, that you know, when he was 17, they, you know, they took him to Area 51. That they were trying to recruit him. And he saw a bunch of amazing stuff. I mean... This is just a story he's telling at a conference, but, and like storytellers, like myself, when I talk, when I'm in my flow, it's, there's no deceit. I'm, I'm telling from my heart, it's, it's experience. Like when I got stabbed, long story, I got in a fight, some guy was being robbed, there were six of them, I was in the wrong place at the right time, I distracted the guy they were robbing, they ended up fighting me, there, were, there was a lot of them, and one of them stabbed me in the back during the fight, anyway, um, so yeah, that was. That was a fun experience for being stabbed in the back. But anyway, shit, I forgot where I was going with that. I guess, but okay, the, what happened was I retold that story. Thank you. I, had the, I retold the story when I was in a creative writing class. I actually wrote down the experience that I had at the time, and then I read it out loud to the class, the my experience. But I didn't look down at the book, I, the, my report, whatever I wrote. I, I just literally told them my experience. I never looked down at the paper. And at the end of the thing, they had like a little get together and you know everybody was in a circle and they could talk about what they thought of it. And they were really impressed. One of the guy was like, you know, like you could tell by your emotion that you know you were going through it, right? That's part of a storytelling. It's a, you know, whether or not it's your experience or not, that's part of the storytelling experience. And some amazing story. Lemuria is an amazing story. Middle Earth. I, I have theories. I mean, I'm not sure about anything. I don't trust the government. I don't trust anything the Smithsonian does. Excuse me. You know, they dig up all these giant, uh, you know, giant um, skeletons and they all disappear, whatever. You know, you take pictures. Of, don't take pictures of it if you're going to disappear. You know what I mean? If you're going to take... I just... It doesn't add up. It's like I told my brother when we got in an argument one time. I'm like, I'm a genius if you give me all the information. You, if you lay out that bag of snakes and I know everything, I can solve problems. But without the knowledge that I need to solve the problems, if you don't have all the equations, you're never going to solve the problem. If you're a mathematician and you say, well, you know, what's the equation? You don't have all the equations. Well, how the hell are you going to solve the problem? Exactly. So I, I'm, that's me. If I had all the, you know, the equations, I could solve the problems. But it's all being kept. It's, a lot of it's being hidden. And I hate the secrecy, but that's love and light. But Lemurian. Awesome story. Look up on YouTube. And there's some amazing stories. Just have fun with it. Like, you know, there's, there's stories of a moon base on the back side of the moon. They're talking like slaves. They use humans. They brought them up as slaves, workers. So they're basically second class citizens working on another planet as slaves. These are just stories we're talking about. That's why Space Force was so amazing.
I'm like, what? That right there was just a big old fat code for we're gonna at least basically gonna divulge some stuff. You know, eventually we're gonna be Star Trek. You know, we're gonna be out in the stars. And we're not gonna be dicks. We're gonna be explorers. And I think that was a good step in the right direction. But anyways, love and light. I want you to have a wonderful day. I want you to look on. Just have fun with it, man. Bigfoot. There's crazy videos of you know creatures running across. There's this one video I thought loved. There's these three kids. They're playing hockey in their front yard. And there's and it's out in the woods, but there's they're homesteaders, right? There's like the big looks like you know new homes in a wooded area, right? These kids are playing. And they hear like a roar, like a roar. And they're, you know, they're what the hell? And they keep playing. And then they hear it again. They're like, dude, that was closer, right? Next, thing you know, you can see in the video some like a dude in a suit, right? Whatever. But somebody got to have a gun. I wouldn't be running around in a suit. I'm not that dumb. But it's got to be hot in that thing too, right? But anyway, there's the one about the mama picking up her baby. I'm just saying there's weird videos out there. I'm not disproving it. I just think that, you know, there's a lot of, yeah. When you drive through the Northwest, you kind of start thinking, okay, me, me, me. But anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. Middle Earth. Lemurians. I don't know. Strange creatures that we have yet to see. Dinosaurs. They even talked about dinosaurs still being on, in the Middle Earth. Enough said. Have a wonderful day. Love and light. Keep on trucking. Anyway. There you go. And hopefully that turned out and still look quick. Yay. Free camping. <laughs>